on your free time. When you have time, you focus on it and you start challenging it. Like what pro, pro, uh, pro, pro, I have a hard time every time I want to pronounce your name, I feel like I'm pronouncing Pragya. it. Pragya. I'm okay, Pragya. What Pragya did is she started using a disadvantaged situation of dealing with taxes, which nobody likes to do it. And she, she turned the poison in medicine. A project that you know you, everybody hates to do, unless you're a tax attorney or you're an accountant, majority of people, they hate dealing with it. So what she did is she turned the poison into medicine. She brought the teachings and the wisdom and she started to challenge this me, this I, this me who says, oh, I hate doing this. And she started to challenge that, who is it that hates doing it? And as she started doing it, everything started to turn around because she realized that this mind, this me, which is a thought, is coming in the middle and saying, I hate doing that. But then when she went beyond it, there was nothing. When she went beyond I, then who is hating it? She, she came to the realization that this is just a thought. And if you entertain the thought, then you're going to suffer. If you believe it, then every moment of doing your taxes is going to be suffering. You're going to say, oh, I hate doing this. I don't want to do that. Why do I have to do this? I wish I was wealthy and someone else would do it for me. And blah, 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 blah. And you Twenty-eight years. Huh? <laughs> Twenty-eight years I had exactly this story going. <laughs> exactly. Right. Beautiful. You know, I'm glad. Exactly. Now you have the tools to free yourself from a nagging mind and having an opportunity to really come to freedom unconditional freedom and this is gold this is really gold i'm going to tell you a story i was driving here from sedona and my tire blew this is the second time last time i was driving from sedona after the retreat and i had a tire blue i was driving back with christina and anyway i didn't i don't have <laughs> somehow i took the spare tire out of the trunk of the car because the trunk is very small and i wanted to have more space into putting stuff in it so i never put the spare tire back into the trunk of the car so so the tire blew and I, I put two brand new tires, rear tires. And they're like a few months old. I only put like 2,000 miles on them. Well, this time I go back to Sedona and I'm driving back. And again, in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the desert, and it was 42 degrees centigrade, which is equivalent to 102, 3 degrees Fahrenheit and the tire blows again brand new tire it blew so I pulled to the side of the freeway this is in the middle of nowhere and it's in the Mojave Desert and it's really hot so I pull over and I contact AAA for those of you who live in in outside of the US AAA is a uh, insurance company that they send a tow truck and they come and help you and it's a roadside assistant so I contact them and uh, they say okay we're gonna be there in 45 minutes so 45 minutes go by an hour goes by and I call them back and they made a mistake and the call got canceled so we have to re 
we put the order back again. And this is like around 3.30 in the afternoon, in the heat of the day. So anyway, I basically nobody, finally at nine o'clock at night, somebody came to rescue me. So I was there sitting there from 3.30 in the afternoon till nine o'clock at night. So what I did was I took my computer out and I started, I had to do a lot of writings. There was a lot of text we need to write for our coming workshops from the website. There's a lot of work to do. So I sat down and I started to, I couldn't go anywhere. So I started to do the work. So I accomplished a lot of the work I needed to do in that four and a half hours that I had to wait. And the mind sometimes comes and says, what are you doing? Why are you here? Blah, 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 blah. And the thought comes and I simply did not pay any attention to whatever the mind was saying. So finally they come and pick me up and you know, I'm talking to one of my good friends, Joel, who I was staying at his house in Sedona. And he says, oh my God, that's horrible. What a disaster. You had to wait for four and a half hours. I said, you know what? I don't feel like it was a disaster. It was very productive. I got to accomplish a lot of the writings I needed to do which I wouldn't do it in Sedona because I wanted to go goof off and play and go to the hikes, go for a drive, go see my friends or go to the creek. And I wasn't doing the work I needed to do. So this gave me an opportunity to take care of the things I had to do. So I didn't, so to me, it wasn't a disaster. I was very fine with it. Then, you know, I had to go and spend the night in a hotel because at 9.30 at night, I couldn't fix my car. So I had to deal with it the next day. And so I, I was able to spend some alone time by myself and taking care of everything I needed to take care of without any other distractions. So to me, I, I turn the poison, this is turning the poison to the medicine. This is turning a disadvantaged situation to your advantage. And also waiting is meditation. When you're waiting is meditation. 